Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. We're in Casablanca, Morocco. It's the next stop on this cruise back to the United States. We stop here and behind us is the mosque. <laughs> I don't need The Grand Mosque. The Grand Mosque. It has the tallest minaret in the world and we don't get to go inside today. Nope. But we can walk around it. So we're going to show you some of Casablanca. We're going to show you the Medina leading out to this wonderful mosque. So let's go. We are here in Casablanca. We're in the commercial port area. And we're about ready to go out. It's the afternoon. The air is not looking all that great. Time to go look at Casablanca. Yay. It's cleared up a little, so the air is not so bad as I showed you just before this shot. Oh, that's the Medina that we're going to be going to. Which way do I go? No, I don't need some Jones. The maze that is the Medina. <laughs> Which way do we go? So there's bananas. Yeah. It's bananas. Sure. Sure. A lot of cats in the city. Should we go that way? Where are you going? School? It looks like a school, yeah. Oh, that building looks like it's a little bit forlorn. Yeah. Huh. Probably could use a little makeover. Interpretation Center. A museum for the old Medina. Yes, this looks like the center of a Riyadh with the rooms and 
kitchen and bathrooms and living rooms all around it. They even use the terrace. This one's not very tall, so, but a lot of times they have a water feature in the middle of the Riyadh. It's a cute little museum. If you're in the area, you stumble across it, come on inside. Okay, so we attempted to walk into this mosque over here. And as we found in Marrakesh, visitors are not allowed in the mosques in Morocco. So they do have the Grand Mosque here in Casablanca. And it's kind of a visitor's mosque. It's, it's like the one they want to show off, they want everybody to see. And that's the one that visitors or non-Muslims are allowed to go inside. But the gentlemen in he that were in here were very nice. They, you know, oh, 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 you know. And then they were trying to explain in French, you know, it's, this is not allowed or you can't visit here. And you know we're fluent in French, right? I found a nice park, but it's kind of gated off, so we can't go inside, but looks really nice. From the outside, at least. Cool street art. Yeah, we're kind of walking in the locals area. We're not with the tourist area. Dinner? Anyone? You find these in this in the Medina. It's a place where they can get some fresh water. We made our way through the Medina maze, and we were out one side, probably the uh, north side of the Medina. They're Royal Navy schools right here. That's why we got a lot of guys with uniforms. Are there gates to the Royal Navy? Beautiful. Right down the street from the minaret and the mosque. Big mosque. Looks huge. The mosque isn't put in the richest area in the city, that's for sure. Wow, that minaret is huge. That's a very large mosque. It's probably about the size, it's bigger than the Hagia Sophia or the Blue Mosque in uh, Istanbul, that's for sure. Trying to find the entrance, we went toward it and the guy said, no, nope, can't go this way. So he pointed us in this direction. I see some cars coming out this way. So hopefully we can work our way around. These apartments look nice. Right on the water too, or right looking out on the Atlantic. So they do have this big grand entrance over here on this street. But some of these buildings are really nice too. Academy of traditional art. Yeah. It's like a whole a whole center basically, not just the mosque itself. Okay, and we got this old looks like we gotta go through something to get in there, I guess. Alright, we made it to the mosque, but the mosque is closed. But the museum is open until four and it's like 3.30. So we've got just a short time. The cost to get in the museum was 30 dirham, which is about $3, three US dollars. And the museum's nice. We can go outside later and walk the grounds. We just can't go inside.
there is a fee to go in the mosque. It's 140 dirhams, which is about 14 US dollars. You can get the museum and the mosque for 150 dirhams, which is $15. The museum is, eh, you know, it's three bucks, but just see the mosque. The museum's not really worth it. Unless you need to use the bathroom. There's a bathroom in there. Yeah, so then it's worth it. One beautiful thing about this mosque is it's right next to the Atlantic Ocean. It looks beautiful. There's a door open and we might be able to take a look inside. Or not, no, they're closing the door. So we shall not pass. Yeah, a little haze over the city still. This is another angle of the beautiful mosque. All right, so we're out near the water's end of the mosque. Um, besides this minaret being the tallest in the world, it also has a laser at the top of it, which is pointed toward Mecca. Little fun fact. Those are some big doors, really big doors. What do you think? I wish it was open so we could see it. Well, we lucked out. We saw some people leaving and we went to the exit. And we were told by the guy standing by inside that this was an exit and that it was closed. And we shared with him how beautiful it was just at the exit. And he said that there's an opening, we can't go in, but we can take pictures from the door. And so we went over there and at least got to see in a little bit of inside. It was dark. They were starting to close some of the the doors and, and things all around so you couldn't see the, the light that would normally be through there, but better right. than nothing. You just saw what we saw. I did the best I could for lighting situation because it was really dark. They're getting ready for prayer, so they that's why it's They have to close it's, it in it's, enough time to get it to cleared get it all, out yep. and all the non-Muslims yep. out of the way. Get all the heathens out. We could still walk around and see the outside some more. Yay! More of Casablanca from the mosque grounds.
We talked about it earlier, that's the top of the minaret, and that is the laser beam that is pointing to Mecca. Behind the crane, obviously. All right, this is not fog. This is the pollution of the city of Casablanca. It is unreal. Never experienced any pollution like this, ever. It is bad here. That's our time in Casablanca. Short and sweet like every other cruise port stop we have. <laughs> We're here until 9.30, but we kind of wanted to stay late and get the mosque and the sunset, but since things are closed and yeah, it kind of made it a challenge. So we hope you enjoyed this quick look in Casablanca and we are back on the ship and on to the next port, which is our last stop before we reach the United States. So you get to see that next week. But until then, bye. bye. thingies happening in your pants. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hi, I'm Kevin. It's a museum on the old museum. The old museum. God. I got once if I fit it. I remember the name of it. Better right. than nothing. Yeah, it's better. So you got to see as much as we did. What you saw, what what I showed. What I had list. God, what am I trying to say? So you'll see what we saw. The challenge, so. <laughs> so that's it for this stop.